Circumcision is often seen as a neutral or possibly even benign procedure. Nothing could be further from the truth. This is a UK £5 note. It's about 15 square inches, 96 square centimetres in area. And it represents the amount of tissue an adult will be missing if he's been circumcised as a baby. The foreskin is a double layered structure, so let's fold our piece of paper, £5 note, in half. And here we have a representation of the intact foreskin. The most sensitive bit on the foreskin and the penis is around the lips and on the inside layer of the foreskin. The nerve that carries all that sensation back into the body is always severed and never heals up after a circumcision. It can't join up across the scar line. And the lips, the ridge band, is always removed during a circumcision. Let's have a look at the tissue that's taken in a bit more detail. I've made a piece of paper here, the same area as our £5 note. And I've coloured it here to represent the inner foreskin with this red cross hatching, and this line represents the ridged band or the lips. And this is the nerve that carries the sensation to the frenulum and back into the body. That's folded and wrapped once more round our imaginary penis, giving a representation of the intact foreskin. What's taken the inner foreskin, you can get an idea of how sensitive that is, by taking the palm of one hand, rubbing a fingernail gently down the surface of the palm of the hand, and that represents something like the sensation of an inner foreskin. And this, the back of the hand, a relatively dead sensation, is what a circumcised man is left with. The studies that this video was based on are straightforward, peer-reviewed, observational science, and the references to them are on screen now.